Couple other notes about Romney. Mitt Romney, the, the anti-Romney campaign should be, who do you want being the president of the United States? The law professor, community organizer, who as recently as a few years ago was still paying student loans, or the registered lobbyist? Because now we have confirmed that Mitt Romney was a registered lobbyist, bringing in $1.3 billion in federal money for the 2002 Olympics. He loves to talk about how he saved the 2002 Olympics. He could not have done it without the lobbying that he did. And he did this as a registered lobbyist. We remember, of course, he criticized Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum for their lobbying pasts. And it turns out that Mitt Romney was a lobbyist. Okay. Well, what if we just talked about his ties with lobbyists? I mean, that should be enough. That should be enough, too. He went on uh, Piers Morgan on CNN and he said, hey, there are people who are trying to attack success and are trying to attack our success. That's not going to be successful. When you attack success, you have less of it. And that's what we have in our economy over the last few years, dividing America based on who has money and who doesn't, who is successful and who is less successful. That is not the American way. A lot of, lot of word jumble in there. How he many then, times can you say success in one? He then went on and he said, he also added, my successors have not succeeded at reframing my successes as anything but successes. And I challenge them to succeed at preventing me from being Barack Obama's successor this November. Nobody knows what he's talking about at this point. Brilliant. He's a genius. Yeah. He's quite a wordsmith, isn't he? Did he write that? He's like, uh, he's like a regular old uh, uh, Jack London. He's got to have writers there's no way he's coming up he with can't this be stuff. coming up no. with that stuff on it it's too well crafted it's yeah. too on point and just so well written